हेलो गाइस सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हु अपीयर्ड फॉर गेट 2023 एग्जाम एंड दे आर वेटिंग फॉर द पीएसयू नोटिफिकेशंस बिकॉज़ टिल नाउ नॉट मच नोटिफिकेशन हैव कम सो गाइस योर वेट इज गोइंग टू बी ओवर नाउ स्लोली स्लोली बिकॉज़ दामोदर वैली कॉर्पोरेशन हैव गिवन सम वैकेंसीज एंड लाइकवाइज वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग अदर्स आल्सो टू कम नाउ सो गाइस इफ वी सी दामोदर वैली कॉर्पोरेशन हैव गिवन अ नोटिस फॉर रिक्रूटमेंट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ट्रेनी ओके इंजीनियरिंग ग्रेजुएट्स एग्जीक्यूटिव ट्रेनिंग एंड दे आर थ्रू गेट 2023 स्कोर कार्ड ओके सो माय डियर इफ यू सी दिस नोटिफिकेशन दे हैव मेंशन फॉर अप्लाइंग यू नीड टू गो फॉर दिस वेबसाइट एंड दे हैव आल्सो मेंशन हाउ यू विल अप्लाई यू विल गो टू द वेबसाइट इन द कैरियर सेक्शन रिक्रूटमेंट नोटिस एंड दिस इज ओनली वे टू अप्लाई नो अदर वे विल बी एक्सेप्टेड नाउ लेट अस सी द वैकेंसी डिटेल कैटेगरी वाइज First is stable A vacancies and reservation. This is for executive training mining, and they have seen total total vac uh, ten vacancy for general five OBC two SC one ST one EWS one. Then you can see unfilled vacancy against advertisement PLR GT twenty twenty two. So you can see for this they have twenty nine vacancy for mechanical, twelve are for general, eight are for OBC four for SC three for ST two for EWS. Then they have for electrical there are thirty seven vacancy. 14 are for general 12 4 2 5 then 11 from civil c and i is computer science and information technology is 2 uh, okay it is 2 we have okay so these are the number of vacancies guys and you can see uh, the projectile vacancy indicated above may increase or decrease they can also increase or decrease based on the requirement and age relaxation for sc st obc pw dsm candidate will be as per the government of india rules okay So you can see the number of vacancies are reserved for PWBD benchmark disability. Low vision is two, and D and HS fees are one. They have mentioned the scale of pay as per the seventh pay commission, fifty six thousand one hundred to one lakh seventy seven thousand five hundred. That is level ten seventh CPC M two grade. Eligibility criteria is it is a good thing that twenty nine years of age they are mentioning upper age, and on closing date of online application for unreserved category that is thirtieth October. So, if your twenty ninth birthday is coming after thirtieth October, you are eligible for the post. Okay. So they can see uh, if any student is uh, related to DVC departmental candidate, there is no age limit for that. Then valid marks in gate twenty twenty three. You are gate twenty twenty three scorecard should be there where you qualified the gate. Then you are eligible to apply. And they have mentioned, please note that only gate twenty three marks out of hundred are valid for this. Gate twenty two or prior are not valid. Okay. Then, my dear, they are also mentioning about the post uh, requirement. Like, if you are talking about the mechanical post, then, my dear, mechanical production industrial, production industrial, thermal, mechanical, and automation power engineering are eligible, and gate should be given in ME code. Then you can see for electrical, your BTEC branch can be electrical, electrical and electronics, electrical instrumentation and control, power system, high voltage power electronics, and power engineering. But your paper should be in the electrical code. so when we talk about the civil when we are talking about the civil then my dear uh, it is for civil it is ce should be the paper code branch should also be civil next is c and i actually it is related to related to instrumentation i mistakenly have said cs and it this is instrumentation so instrumentation and control instrumentation or applied electronics electronics and instrumentation et electronics and communication you can see for that a uh, paper code should be either in or ec both are accepted for it information technology or computer science is eligible btech should be from uh, sorry this and paper code should be cs then for mining your paper code should be mn only and btech should be in mining only then my dear we are talking about the essential qualification so they are asking full time bachelor's degree in engineering and technology in mechanical these branches you have already seen and the same branches they have mentioned so you should be full time btech with 65% for general 60% for sc st and pwd categories so this is same for all and branches we have already seen okay guys then we are going to move further about the reservation that is as per the government norms okay uh, then we are going to have relaxation of age limit for obc it is 3 years for sc st it is 5 years okay Then for PWD it is ten years for general for OBC thirteen for SC ST fifteen years, okay. Then my dear they are saying for J and K you are having five years relaxation, 
reservation uh, consideration for sc st will be subjected to submission of caste certificate that you know you need to provide and the same is for obc and ews categories okay there are norms and you need to go for that you need to submit the forms and declaration for that okay then they are saying there is no upper age limit for departmental candidates department candidates shall also be required to qualify in the gate paper okay and then selection process is only gate 2023 and they have mentioned the paper codes we have already seen candidate qualified in the corresponding gate 23 shall only be eligible they have mentioned it again and they have mentioned it again gate marks of 2022 will not be valid again and again they are mentioning this the candidate will be shortlisted for document verification on the gate 23 marks in the ratio of 1 is to 5 so you can see there is no written examination it is going to be Directly the candidate will be shortlisted for document verification on the gate 23 marks obtained out of 100 in order to merit in the ratio of 1 is to 5 to the number of vacancy category wise in each discipline for the further selection process. Okay, if they have mentioned in case two or more candidate in the same discipline and category secured equal marks in gate 23, then 1 is to 5 and the ratio of 1 is to 5 is increasing. All those candidates who secured equal marks will be called for document verification irrespective of the above ratio. Okay, so they will be uh, considering that as well. Then they are saying that all rights are reserved, validation, verification of credential will be done as you know. Uh, the details will be checking that whatever the name mentioned in the admit card is there in the degree certificates and all. Okay, so date and venue will be shared by them and they have mentioned no hard copy of the call letter to the shortlisted candidate will be given. You need to take that uh, from the uh, website only. And payment of the application for fees. A candidate belonging to general OBC, EWS category required to pay 300 rupees non-refundable through SBI collect. Okay. For SC, ST and DVC candidates, there is no fees. And my dear, then you can see, uh, first you need to submit uh, exempted those who are exempted from payment of application fees should also first submit the online application okay and you will be getting a uan so that uan will be helping you to check your application status okay is it clear then my dear they have mentioned step by step procedure go to this for payment and select psu they will be saying then state as west bengal select the name of psu as the mother valley Fill all the detail, proceed towards the payment of rupees 300. The last date of apply is 30th October. After payment, candidate are required to download the e-receipt so that you have a proof for that. Okay. So this is all about the things. So they have also mentioned the compensation package that also we have seen previously. It is around 56,100 to 177,500. And you will be uh, on the successful completion of the probation period. You will be absorbed as assistant manager okay so that will be the absorption and then you will be having all the benefits like hra okay then you will be having basic pay central dearance allowance cda medical reimbursement everything will be there then service agreement bond is also there of 5 lakh rupees and you need to serve uh, okay this is for 5 lakh for general 2.5 lakh for others and they have mentioned that the amount of the bond uh, of the candidate is this for different and they are also mentioning that serve the organization at least three years that is overall four years one year of training three year extra total four year you need to serve otherwise if you are living in between you need to pay that much amount they are mentioning before joining candidate will have to go for a pre health checkup okay that is always there medical is there okay then rest informations are related like you are having in every notification so i will be sharing this notification on my telegram channel that is mechanical by dheera sardana you can check it and they are the documents uh, required at the documentation time you can see one is print out of online application form original gate scorecard proof of date of birth that is 10th board mark sheet valid certificate and mark sheet of 10th 12th diploma be btech valid degree provisional degree of diploma be btech then scst and all certificate caste certificate then age relaxation come domicile certificate for j and k candidates and others and you can see the experience certificate if applicable. NOC if you are already working in some PSU. Application P acknowledgement e receipt and recent passport size photograph and ID card. Okay. These are the things required. So 1 to 30th October is the date you can apply. 
एंड दे ऑल्सो मेंशन दैट कि लास्ट डेट ऑफ पेमेंट ऑफ फीस इज ऑल्सो थर्टी अक्टूबर Why to waste for the uh, why to wait for the last day? Try to complete the process before that only. They have mentioned the fees is non-refundable, and these are the information uh, to keep ready for applying. Like the size of the photo, all the things are mentioned there, which you can check in the notification before filling the form. So I feel I have given you all the related information which is required for this, and this is the complete advertisement. The once again let us see the important dates. So it is starting from first of October, completing at thirtieth uh, of October, and this is three hundred rupees fees. You can apply with the Gate Twenty Three Scorecard. So guys, I feel this is the golden opportunity. You want to join the Modar Valley Corporation? So goodbye for this particular session. You know we are always coming live whenever any notification comes. So be ready and stay tuned with us. All the best, guys.